we will now talk about um, configuring new object types or changing existing object types. So once you get to the configuration menu, which is SPRO, which is here, you click on this, and then it takes you to configuration menu. Now, since technical object types are very specific, are specific to plant maintenance, you would go into the plant maintenance folder. From here, since technical object types are master data, you will click on the master data folder. Also, technical object types are technical objects, thus you click on the technical objects folder. From here, you will lo be looking for the maintaining the technical object types. Since technical object types apply to everything, including function locations, equipment, everything here, you would go to the general data folder, and then here you define the types of technical objects. You click on here, and then it takes you to a list of technical objects. Now, as you could tell, they're in alphabetic order and they're numeric. So the first thing you do, if you're going to add new ones, for example, I'm going to add a new type of compressor, a water compressor, I would look at the numbering range and see where it falls underneath. Since water compressor will fall between here and here, I would add it here. In this case, I will call the water compressor 117 because it fits in between there. Once you're sure of this, you would cl click New Entries. You would add the number. And then you will put Compressors Water. And then you would press Save. It will ask you for a transport number. You could create a transport number. Or you could, rec you could find an existing one. and then you press save once you got it. In this case I do not want to save this it's just a demonstration so I canceled it. But that is how you add a new technical object type. In this case I want to delete this and I exit I do not save. This is the end of the video.